eighth grade leaders who have asked some really good questions that sixth graders may have and we're going to ask and answer the questions on our panel. We'll start with Amanda. Amanda, if you lose your phone, where do you find it? You can go to the main office and see if the student brought it in or the main office might make an announcement over the loudspeaker with a description of the phone. Kaylee, where's the lost and found? The lost and found is at the end of the band hallway. You can find usually anything you lose as long as someone brought it there. Emma, are phones allowed to be carried around during the day? Um, they're not allowed in school. They should be kept in your locker. If you're seen with them, it might get taken away or you might be told to put it in your locker. Tina, do we have to walk in a line in the hallway? No, but it's advised that you stay to the right. Noelle, do we stay with our homeroom classmates during the day? No, since students have different schedules, they will not stay with their homeroom classmates. James, what is Reflections Magazine? Um, that is a magazine that um, is a collection of writings and um, pictures and drawings of that sort that is put out by Mrs. by Ms. Cleary. And, um, if you have any questions about that, you can see her, and at the end of the year, you can submit your drawings and writings. Jack, do fire drills at Glen Meadow differ from the ones at Lounsbury Hollow? If they do, how so? No, they're very similar. If you're, you will follow your teacher out the building through the exit. If you're upstairs, you go through the back. If you're downstairs, you go through the front. Amanda, I heard something about being locked out on your Chromebook. What does that mean? So if you go onto a blocked website three times, no matter if it's the same blocked website or a different one, you'll be locked out of your Chromebook for 30 minutes, and if that's during class time and you can't do your work, you're responsible for that. So some advice is don't go off task during your class. Kaylee, can you pick your own locker? Yes, you pick your own hallway locker and your own gym locker, depending on height and if you want an up locker or a lower locker. Emma, do you get your own gym locker? You share a gym locker with a partner of your choosing, and you write the combo down as long as the locker isn't taken. Tina, do you get your own regular locker? Yes, for that you do. James, when can I go to the library? There are a couple times you can go to the library. One is during lunch if you sign out and there's a pass available. Um, another is in your language arts class. If you need to check out a silent reading book, you can ask your teacher and sign out. And um, you can also go during, to the library during your homeroom time. Um, at the beginning of the day would be better because um, it's just a better time to get things done before the day starts. And yeah, that's it. Jack, I've heard about No Tech Tuesdays during lunch. What is that? How does it work? No Tech Tuesday is when every week on a Tuesday, the students in the lunchroom cannot use their Chromebooks. And No Tech Thursday is where the third week in a month, the whole day you cannot use your Chromebook. Amanda, could you explain a little bit more about No Tech Thursdays once a month? We do No Tech Thursdays to promote social interaction. So your teachers plan lessons that don't involve your technology so that you can have more interaction and so that students and teachers aren't just relying on technology and can make new friends and rely on each other. Hello, my name is Mr. Colleen. I'm one of the health and phys ed teachers at Glen Meadow. I've been asked to give you a couple of words of wisdom, a couple of tips. Uh, first of all, Glen Meadow is a pretty fun place. 
it's a great place for you to be comfortable and be yourself. So we're looking forward to having you join us. Secondly, the building is pretty easy to get around. It's pretty much just two circles on top of each other. And if you go one way and you miss your building, don't, you miss your classroom, don't worry, just keep on going around and you'll see it sooner or later. Uh, and lastly, don't worry, by the time you uh, meet me, I will have had a haircut. So this is my summer hair. I look forward to seeing you uh, in the fall. Have a great year. Now let's watch some bloopers. This is the office when you first walk in. Um, you, can do there, you can go there if you need anything. You can take for like a call or just a phone or something. Or something. Uh, okay, this is the upstairs office. This is the in-school room. Please don't come here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so bad. That's not what happened. You're supposed to say, this is the in-school room. Okay, wonderful. Up here is the Zoom. Okay, beautiful. And yeah, zoom out, so she's a little bit just dead. Okay, okay, and then click stop. Thank you. 